Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skills. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, we are going to talk about how to write a research article using free AI and without plagiarism and AI detection. Interesting, right? So, without without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, first of all, we have to decide the title. I mean, the title that we are going to talk about and we are going to develop the research paper. The title is Economic Progress and Persistent Challenges in South Asia. In other words, we are looking for the determinants of economic development or economic growth in South Asia, including Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Maldives, Nepal and Sri Lanka. Okay. So, these are my country and I am looking for the data related GDP, investment, uh, school enrollment, all those variables. So, first of all, what we can do, the step one is to go to a search place where I can download the articles. And this is one of the free AI search engine called Symmetric Scholar. And where I said, determinants of economic growth in South Asian countries. This is the title. And I choose the field of study economics and date range from the last 10 years. Okay. And then I search it. Once I search it, I have down, I have found some interesting articles. And from those articles, for these video purposes, for simplicity, I have downloaded only five articles. But in your case, you may download several articles that you are required to write your research article. It is up to you. But for demonstration purpose, today I am using only five articles relevant to my research title. So these are the five articles that I have downloaded and once you download it, make a folder and name the article uh, paper or the file in paper 1, paper 2, paper 3, paper 5. So that when you are giving your references, it will be easier for you to identify which research article you are trying to re give your references. Okay. Now once you have done it, then the next step is to collecting the data. There are several sources you can collect your data. For secondary sources, one of the important sources is called the Our World in Data. And then another source called the World Development Indicators. For the primary data purposes, Chat GPT can always create some hypothetical data for you as a primary data. And more quite often we have seen the data is more reliable. And in my opinion, you can use your primary data survey by using Google sheet or maybe google form and using your social media platform to collect your primary data or you can assign research assistant maybe an upwork or freelancer who can help you to collect your data so there are several ways you can collect your data i have downloaded the data from the world development indicator similar data i requested from chat gpt and i asked them to uh, collect the data from 2010 to 2023 and chat GPT created a file where you can see that article, the data set, the download panel data on economic growth, I already downloaded. The data, something like, looks like this, year, GDP per capita, investment, school enrollment, inflation, and population. So, first of all, you try to search the research article for your literature review, research problem writing, research question writing and secondly you need data to analyze and write the paper. Okay, So I have created these two, uh, selected these two important steps and fulfilled these important steps. Now what I do, I go to the Google uh, Notebook LM. Google Notebook LM, I have several videos on Google Notebook LM. You can search those but Google Notebook LM, what they can do, they can interestingly uh, write your literature review and introduction, research question, as well as your research problem, identify very simply. So all you have to do, go to the notebook LM, upload all the articles that you have downloaded for your research uh, paper writing, for your references, for literature review or writing introduction. And once you uploaded it, you can write down, write a research problem, research question in introduction from these articles. So it will give you an idea about what are the research question, research problem from those articles that it will read for you. You do not have to read anything. Once you have done it, you need to write down that uh, write without plagiarism and AI detection, meaning 
original writing. So, upon this instruction, it will rewrite your whole thing again without plagiarism and AI detection. Okay. So, once I have done it, I write, can you add references in the text like API style? That also it can be done. And then I said, now write the literature review using these attachments in text citation like author year without plagiarism and AI detection, meaning original writing. So, these are my write-up. Once it gives you the write-up, you just simply copy and you go and paste it in your uh, Word file. So, this is my research problem. This is my research question. This is my introduction from Google Notebook LM. Now, this is my literature review as well from Google Notebook LM. Another way you can give the references by using Zotero. So, in my uh, Zotero file, I already have uploaded or drag and drop all my research articles. These are my five articles in Zotero so that I can easily cite my references in text while I am writing introduction and literature review. You can see the Zotero tab over here. You can add the insert note or add the bibliography, add citation in your research article very easily and it is obviously free. So, once you have done it, the next thing is the data analysis. There are several ways you can do that. One of the best way is I have created an application which is completely free. I have given you the uh, link in the video description. You can use it completely free. This application or the software can easily use your data and analyze your data. Another way you can go to the Bricks AI, the AI spreadsheet to build reports and dashboard and you can get started for free. You can upload your data and ask them to analyze your data. Another way you can do it by simply go to the Grok which is a Elon Musk AI, Grok AI and upload your data set and ask them to analyze. So, after analyzing the data set from my application, the results are like this. So, cold information, model summary, all the visual effects and everything is all done. So, you can use my application or you can use uh, Bricks AI, Grok AI, even you can use Chat GPT to analyze your data and it will give you a results like this. Okay. Once you have these results, you can always use other softwares like JAPS and Blue Sky Statistics, which is are completely free. And once you have the results, all you have to do, go to the Grok, you go to the Grok and write the Grok that you want to write the literature, explain the results, paraphrase, paragraph wise, according to the journal style and make it original writing without plagiarism and AI detection. Word, 1000 words, no plagiarism and AI detection. This is my result, econometrics results panel data. So, the Grok is already giving me the all the analysis from my article uh, result discussion or you can say that the outcome of my data analysis, Grok already explained it to me very nicely. Okay. So, once it is done, you copy the whole thing and paste it to your result and discussion. You can see that I already pasted in the Grok's outcome from over here. So, once you have this, you need to select the journal. It is very important before you write the whole manuscript to find out the journal. So, I have selected one journal called Economics Letter. The reason why I am this selecting this this journal it is because it only asks you to write 1000 to 2000 words research paper and it welcomes all researchers are welcome to submit the article, especially the young researchers. So, if you look at the uh, their aims and scope, they are encouraged that young researchers, advanced graduate students are encouraged to submit their articles. So, meaning that since it's a very small letter, I'm just communicating with my results and discussion. So, this is the best platform for me or best journal for me to write and upload it, uh, submit it. In my opinion, in your case, a, a economics letters like physics letters, chemistry letters, biotechnology letters, IICT letters, there are so many journals available, letters journal, you can select those journal for quick publication in a Scopus index journal and it will not take more words to write down your article, okay. So, I have selected this one. So, once I have selected this one, what I have done, I uploaded the file and I said the Brock, 
the block AI that please redact the manuscript following this journal. I shared the journal link. Uh, add the conclusion references from CSV file in the text. So what I have to do, I go to the uh, Zotero export collection and from there I downloaded the CSV of the references. And then I, what I do, I attach the manuscript, I attach the manuscript and the references from Zotero as a CSV file. And I said that uh, without plagiarism and AI detection and complete the manuscript as journal standard which I shared the link. So this is my prompt. You can use the same prompt for your case in Grok AI. So this is my manuscript and this is my references and Grok already written me all the references with the references and all the paper needed to be done as a journal standard economics letter journal standard and it gives me an AI and plagiarism free writer. So once I have it, what I have to do, I just copy the whole thing and you can see that this is my final write down. So once I have this one, I have seen that the, there is a higher AI detection in my article. So what I have to do, I again go to the Grok AI and I said that in the Grok's prompt that you see to further reduce the AI detection score, I said that it's still showing high AI detection. Reduce it in 20%. So I need a 20% AI detection and plagiarism. So I want Grok to reduce it by rewriting the whole manuscript uh, that it will count as a 20% AI detection and 20% plagiarism, which is a standard format for any journal in Scopus Index. So it is still it started writing it and then it gives me this write-up in the right hand side. Once I have it. And I completed this one and this is my AI plagiarism law. This is the whole article. And once I have this one, you can use uh, different equations. And in my previous video, I have shared that in equation, you can go to the insert, press equation and LaTeX and convert current professional. All the chat GPT Grok equation will be converted to a professional equation writer. Okay, so you can use this technique. Once you have it, then what you have to do? you go to the Turnitin software, okay? So I first go to the Turnitin software and I have seen that my AI detection was 25%. First, in the first case, AI detection was 25% and similarity index is 21%. The reason of my similarity index is not because the content, it is because the references. So if you reduce or deduct, deduct the references, my similarity record is very good. It is almost plagiarism free it is almost plagiarism free similar index but my AI detection is higher right so I again reduce it by asking Grok to reduce it into 20% as I told you reduce it 20% so Grok what I have done it actually reduced close to close to zero close to zero so the similarity is still 21-22% without referencing if you reduce the referencing the, the write up will be reduced to 20% and the AI write-up is almost zero. AI detection is almost zero. So now you are ready to submit to your journal because it is AI detection is free, plagiarism is less than or close to 20% and if you reduce the references, it will be nothing in the plagiarism in terms of your research article writing. And I have searched that what is the standard how much plagiarism is allowed to Scopus in the journal? A maximum of 20% similarity or 20% AI detection is accepted for Scopus index journals. So in my opinion, if you follow these steps using Grok AI, then Notebook LM, then my application or Grok AI for data analysis, Brix AI for data analysis, select your journal, letters type of journal, data from world in data or our uh, world development indicator, you can easily submit to a Scopus Index journal, a plagiarism free and AI detection free and you will hopefully get your dream publication in a Scopus Index journal without having any difficulties. So thank you so much my dear learners for watching this full video. I am very happy and grateful for you. I will see you in the next tutorial with more exciting information. Until then, bye bye.